We're going to be chatting now with the owner of a a pub in Arrowtown, a great hotel, uh, The Tap it's known as, and it's Jeannie Hamilton and she's facing staff shortages herself. So let's have a chat with Jeannie very shortly. Uh, I'll just see if she's on the line now. I don't... Uh, let's just see. I am, yep. Oh, good on you, Jeannie. Hi there. Um, thank you so much for Hi. Um, coming on the show today. My pleasure. Thank you. Now, yeah, no, it's really good to have you on. And, and I'm sorry to hear that, um, you know, things have been tight and you've been forced to close your doors for a, a couple of nights a week at the moment. Yeah, myself and um, just about every business in Aratown anyway that's, um, you know, suffering from staff shortages. So uh, I think most businesses are closing one or two days a week at the moment. And that's been, you know, we've been closed Monday, Tuesday for a couple of months now. And I can't see that changing. It's been a couple of months. Wow. Yeah. yeah. And yep. so, and yep. so what, 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 what are you, are you needing everyone across the board? Like, where are you most short and why has it just got so, so bad this winter? Uh a few factors. It's a lack of um, new staff for coming up to these busy times like the school holidays. So um, we need extra extra team members over, you know, school holidays for sure. And then it's like you just said, it's people um, sick. You know, a lot of people are off sick. I had the flu myself last week and couldn't work. So, you know, we're, we're just mitigating... Um, so many factors for um, just not having enough team members. So I think, you know, for mm. us, we had to make the decision to do five days a week just to look after the team that we've got. That, yeah, that's okay. our main focus at the moment. Yeah, I'm sorry you were hit as well. There is a really bad uh, flu going around, which isn't COVID, isn't there? That's right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think, I, did you find it almost worse than COVID? Well, I haven't had COVID. I hate to say that. Yeah. Oh, you're like me. It hasn't you're hit like me. me. I think I'm yeah. Oh, okay. well done. There yeah, you I go. Yeah. I yeah. haven't had COVID, so but I had a rotten flu. We are. I, I, yeah. I feel like yeah, I. I feel like the, the, the yeah. Any minute now, it's just like we're in the firing line. Oh dear. <laughs> but let let's get back to the sta the staffing situation because it, it it is serious. And of course, you're not alone. Like you said, I mean, uh, there are other businesses feeling the pain as well. But what happens? I mean, like you said, Arrowtown's already bustling with the Aussies. What happens on Friday when we get the New Zealand school holidays? Yeah, just tough. And I, you know, that's the thing. I really feel for our visitors because. We just can't, you know, we, we can't take capacity. So, um, you know, I think people are understanding and when people are in town, you know, they're, they're super patient and tolerant and they're so happy to get served. And um, I think it's really tough when they come and businesses are closed and they, you know, Mondays in our town are tough for anyone visiting. Um, mm. Because yeah. they can't, can't so, they can't um, can't access anything. They're like, oh great, well they're used. Yeah, that's there's right. nowhere to eat. Yeah, uh, yep. and it, and that's right. And if you do yeah, get in, they've terrible. got a, a limited yeah. menu. You know. Yeah, I think people are doing pretty well with their menus. Um, yeah, we're still running at a, a pretty good, you know, full menu, but it's um, it's just yeah. It's hard. It's hard, no doubt about it. And you'll see mm. it in every industry. It's not just hospitality. It's across the board. Yeah. Dini, so. you were telling me that things are pretty dire. You were in there early this morning cleaning toilets at the pub. <laughs> I was. Yep. Um, and uh, that's across the board as well. Like, I've, I've seen CEOs in washing dishes in hotels. You know, people just have to dig in. So, yeah, I've been um, in every position at, at the Talk and Tap, you know, helping out our team. So, of course, I'm going to get in there and help. Uh, so, I was, I was scrubbing toilets this morning. So, <laughs> 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 start, start and, and the you're day, thinking, but that's okay. you're thinking, I love my life. <laughs> 
Yeah, no, that's um, that's just how it rolls, isn't it? You, know, you just pitch in and how. So, mm. yeah. Okay, so here we have but, on um, one hand, we know, have... We've, dis- we've got a- Sorry, Jenny, as you were. No, no. I was I was just going to say we've got to look after the team that we've got and that's, that's the most important thing and keep, you know, keep morale up because, you know, we have got some great workers here in town and so we just don't want to put pressure on people anymore. I think there's been there's been enough pressure over the last couple of years. So Yeah. We discussed mental but, health off air yeah. and you were saying that Honestly, it's no joke. Like some owners are on the verge of breakdowns, literally. Yeah, yeah, I believe so. Yeah, yeah. I I think people are doing it really tough at the moment, for sure. Got to look after yourself. Yeah. Do Do you so feel you know, that we, we've talked? Sorry, keep going. Who, who's Who's there for the businesses, Jenny? I mean, who's Who's actually there to support them? I mean, who can, Who can you turn to? Like you know, in these sort of situations for emotional and mental support and practical support? Yeah, that's a good question. Uh, I think I think every, I think you can reach out to other business owners. I think everyone's pretty understanding. Um, as I say, we're all in this together. I think people understand, you know, if you were to say, man, I'm having a hard time, people will listen because they told that you're not on your own, you're not one out of the box. Everyone's in it together. So um, I think you can open up and talk about it now, which is a great thing. Um, who's there to support? Uh, I think, yeah, I think you just got to look after yourself and navigate, navigate it. And, that, you know, that's why businesses are closing a couple of days a week because they're going, well, we need some time off. We're working really hard. Um and we, you know, it's it's where we're at at the moment. Hopefully, New Zealand can open up to more overseas people coming who have got work visas. That's that's the mm. crux of it. We need to open up immigration. So we're yeah. welcoming in our visitors, which is fantastic. But we also need to welcome in our workers so that we can mm. go forward mm. from from all countries. Absolutely, yeah. And at the moment, you know, nothing's changing there. I think there's changes in October. Yeah, yeah so, seems a lot, a long you know, way as, away, doesn't as, it? Oh, sure does. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Jeannie, you were talking about uh, how it's really tough, and when you have these days off, it's almost like time to. Uh, regenerate because fatigue must be a huge issue when you're trying to cover for for lack of staff. That's right. Yeah. And so, we, we, how, how you know, like, um, what what are you doing going forward? Like, are you advertising anywhere, or are you just? I mean, are you just so busy in the day to day running that there's very little time to kind of plan for like next month, or you know, when there could be even more people here? I mean, DQ is telling us that we're we the stats are showing that we're going to have one of the busiest Julys uh, in age in years, you know, three or four years in Queenstown. So, what are they doing to help? Like, um, you know. <laughs> I mean, how are they expecting businesses know, to cope? I know. We're, I know. We are promoting, promoting, you know, New Zealand, come and, come and ski, come and, come and stay in New Zealand, which is fantastic. And we're loving all the visitors coming back. It's so good. But, um, yeah, but, you know, if, if, if there's critical staff shortages, I, I'm not sure. If there's no other help, then I, I swear it's immigration. We need to be changing that, that system so that we can encourage people to come back. At the moment it's too hard, it's too expensive for them to come back. Um, yeah. Yeah. Do you think, so, Jeannie, that the people that you're seeing coming into the into the hotel, are they, are they just yep. super happy to be here and they're kind of pretty relaxed about perhaps having to navigate bars and, and restaurants yep. and things that are closed? Are they okay to deal with? Yeah, yeah, people are amazing. People are just really understanding. They get it. People, you know, they've seen signs on all the businesses saying, please be with us. I think people are just really happy to be here. I mean, look at it. Beautiful blue sky, snow on the mountains, 
gorgeous. I think it will be hard going into school holidays with big family groups. Um, mm. You know, I think reality is that if you've got a big group, you would have to book to make sure you get somewhere to eat for your family. So I'm sure that's going to be a little bit stressful if you had a big family group. Um, you'd have to be quite organised. But for now, I, I mean, I just see that people are really understanding and patient and good. They get it. They totally mm. understand. So, yeah, at least again, at least we're, we're all in it together. We're all in it together. But at least we're turning on the sunshine this week. So, unfortunately, the Kiwis, I think, are going to get the rain next right. week. But this week, if you're an Aussie, it's a boomer time to be in Queenstown because oh. the mountains are gorgeous. It's just the weather is amazing. Absolutely. Like, isn't it? Mm. You know, yeah, and not not yeah, particularly is. cold. It so is. this is good. Yep. So there are some good things happening. The universe is, you know, look. Obviously, there's there's many challenges, <laughs> but we've got to take take the positives amongst all this. Jenny, I've got to ask you, how long have you been running the tap for now? So eleven years. Yeah, and so generally, you know, obviously the pub is a huge success, but did you, are you at the point now? where you feel like you've almost reached the end of your tether, like you might want to throw it away if this keeps up? Mm, no, not really. Um, so, no, I still love it. It's, it's great. I mean, I love being part of Aritown. I love the, the whole community and I love our team. It's just, I can see that, you know, it's going to get better and, you know, we will, we will come through this. Um, you've just got to pace, pace it out. You've just got to look after yourself and look after others and get through it, I swear. We just, we just got to look after ourselves and not burn out. So, no, I don't mm. feel like that at all. Okay. Yeah, well, that's, I'm glad to hear yeah. that because we'd be sad to lose you just from a, a, a selfish point <laughs> perspective. It would be horrible to have the tap without you there. But I do appreciate Aww. your time. Thanks, no, man. I really mean that. I think we it's, will um, have we will have you know. we will have those big music sessions in the summer. We'll put the Sunday sessions back on and have you rocking in the backyard, Leanne. <laughs> Great. <laughs> oh, that will be tremendous because I really I really miss that. I'm, I kind of dream about summer, but it seems like this utopia that's like you know out of reach right now. But I'm imagining. You know, just how vibrant the tap is in, in the garden on a, a Sunday afternoon. Good fun. I mean, you oh, still, you had something, oh, you had you're something recently. No, it's true. Um, I hear you had Ollie McLean there on Sunday. Oh, we did have Ollie playing. Yeah, he was fantastic. Oh, my God, he's so talented. And he's doing he's... solo now. It's brilliant. How old is he? Well, he's at uni, so is he 20? Is he 20? Maybe? I thought he was only 19? like 18, 19. Yeah, he's pretty young. Oh, he's, yeah, maybe he's 19. Yeah, he's pretty young, but, you know, he's going to go so far, that boy. He's awesome. Yeah, well, I'm quite keen yeah, to... Yeah, so we'll, because, ha we'll have him back. Yeah, good. I'm keen to actually get him on to the show sometime because uh, people around the country <gasps> won't have heard of him, but he is he's a genius entertainer and he has his band, The Train Surfers, and they're really good. So at one point, um, yep. I'll do something with, with Ollie, but uh, but in the meantime, it's been really good. And Jeannie, wishing you all the best to navigate this tricky winter, hey? Nice one. Thanks, Leanne. Appreciate it. Thank you, Jeannie Hamilton from The Tap in Arrowtown.